you wanna run away Why you gotta be afraid I wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is a two day extreme spring clean and decorate with me. This video is a long one, so you know what you need to do. Go ahead and put me up on your TV and let's get started on cleaning together. Uh, make sure you stay to the end as well because I do show you a super easy and delicious cinnamon roll recipe. You do not want to miss it. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. On my channel, you'll find lots of cleaning motivation, home decor, recipes, grocery hauls. So if that sounds good, make sure you click that red subscribe button and also click the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm just showing you this because if you follow me over on Instagram, I was telling you guys that I saw this and I thought that it was a cigarette butt. And my 12 year old was sitting right next to where this was on the floor and I legit almost had a heart attack, but all right, carry on. Don't be a ghost, cause baby, I love you, yeah. Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight. I'm gonna miss your body. You know I can never get it right without you, no. I don't wanna step into the light. If I don't get you, shoddy, you bring out the sweetness of my life. So in this little spray bottle here, I've got one of my trusties, and if you've been here a while, you already know, my lavender scented Fabuloso. can see I need to throw I think this was two loads of laundry uh, in the washer and dryer at this point I believe our dryer had went out for a couple days before we could get someone to come out and service it so we were with that for a few days so of course with as large of a family as we are we had a ton of clothes so um, all in all I think I had just over three to four days I think I had at least six or seven loads to do so yeah it took me quite some time Okay, so the paint on the carpet situation. So what had happened was the kids were outside um, on the back deck painting pictures and whatnot. Um, and I don't know how they did this, but they got super messy. They got paint on their shoes and they came inside the house. That's why there's paint on this carpet. Originally, I tried to just use like a magic eraser, um, but you'll see in a minute that didn't really work too well. So I ended up getting some super hot, hot water and putting Dawn dish soap, the blue kind, on a sponge and just pretty much scrubbing my life away. And then I think at some point I went back again with the magic eraser and I did finally end up getting it off. No, I just want to get out of here. I find it so hard to breathe. Cause when you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew what power you have over me But now it's so hard to breathe mm -hmm. Just get me out of here when you're just trying to hurry up and like clean up a space and vacuum really good and then the vacuum all of a sudden just stops working well I realized it was stuff stuck all in the bristles it was thread it was uh, fluff from old pillow just all kind of stuff so I figured that out so I just sat there and just went there and wasted time um, pulling all that stuff out but then after that it started working again I lose my way and I freeze I wish 
I'm also going to be looking for some new couch covers for these couches because the last ones I had, I liked them initially for maybe like the first two weeks, maybe at max. And then after that, I didn't like how they looked anymore. They started looking soggy and all that stuff. And I'm not buying new couches until like after we move. So, um, yeah, I got to find a different style. I'm like checking on Amazon and that kind of thing. So hopefully I can find something, um, you know, in the next couple weeks. Okay, so basically I've been doing more of a neutral theme as far as like the throw pillows go. So I took all the like Valentine's Day pillows out. I did keep the one Valentine's Day pillow or one I got for Valentine's Day that says love you on there. Um, just because I don't feel like it's only for Valentine's Day. I feel like it also can double as um, kind of a spring theme too. So I left that one. The other ones I got rid of. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna keep it like this for a while until I kind of transition my uh, decor over to more of a, like a summer theme and then I'll see what I can come up with at that point. Okay, so I told you guys a while back that I was going to keep um, as much Valentine's Day decor that I could out here um, that I was just gonna kind of add some pieces to a lot of stuff that way it's way more budget friendly than to buy all new florals or whatnot so what I did was I kept my arrangements here I just kind of tucked in those rose petals that were kind of like flowing over the side of them I tucked them inside of that vase or the vases and then I just added these um, teal color stems to them So I got the little cute teal truck from Hobby Lobby. I thought it would go really good with those little florals. It was $19.99 originally. I got it for 50% off and then I also got the floral stems for 50% off. They were originally uh, $10.99. <laughs> I 
often you vacuum like per week? Do you vacuum every day or do you just do a couple times a week or what? For me, I pretty much vacuum every day just because just the sheer amount of crumbs and stuff that gets on the floor, I can't let it go too long, but I wanna hear from you, let me know. Okay, if you're following me on Instagram, you may have seen this story that I made a few weeks back regarding this vase. I got this vase for $12.99 from Ross. This is a Hobby Lobby dupe. The vase I originally wanted was from Hobby Lobby and it was $40. And I was like, you know what, let me keep looking because you know I don't really wanna pay $40 just for a vase. So I ended up getting this from $12.99. I'm super happy with it. It's super, super cute. I love the little like blue clearish color. And then I also got these um, leaves, like the, I think it's eucalyptus looking leaves from um, Ross as well, and it was $5.99. So two super good deals. And also double bonus because the fake, they're fake obviously, but they smell, they have like a smell like real flowers. So I thought that was pretty cool too. So if you have a Ross in your area, make sure you check out your local Ross. You might be able to find some good deals. Forgot to tell you guys about this little welcome sign here that's on this tray. I got it from Walmart and it was only $5.99. A million people in the crowd, but I only See your face in all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really wanna make you mine I don't really care about love I don't really care about happy ever afters Something about you gives me hope Something about you, yeah all right, let's go ahead and get into this kitchen, but I also wanna know, you still hanging with me? You still cleaning? Let me know what kind of space you need to be cleaning right now. I know this is a big debate, but I want to know, do you guys like pre-rinse your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher? Do you also have to wash some dishes by hand and then let the dishwasher take care of the rest? Or are you one of those people that don't use dishwashers at all and only wash dishes by hand? Let me know. Deep inside of my wildest dreams, you'll be by my my favorite part about emptying out the sink is being able to wash and rinse the sink afterwards. It just gives me so much satisfaction.
So real quick, this is obviously not the same day as I filmed the rest of the stuff, but we're gonna finish the video out today. I'm getting ready to show you though real quick a super easy breakfast idea. They're crescent roll cinnamon rolls. I just need to clean up this little space over here just enough to go ahead and start making the cinnamon rolls. And then I'll be back and I'll show you exactly how to make it. ahead and get started you need two cans of crescent rolls to make 16 rolls half a cup of brown sugar a tablespoon of cinnamon and then one stick of softened butter now my butter over here I did not take out in advance so I'm gonna go ahead and nuke it for a couple seconds just to get it soft enough you're gonna mix everything in a bowl together and then you're gonna open up and I'll show you how I do it but I'm gonna open up the cinnamon rolls spread them out into like um, 16 individual triangles. I'm gonna put the spread on there on the inside, roll them up, bake them in the oven, and then I'll show you how to make our little um, glaze out of powdered sugar, and then I'll probably just use like some heavy cream. Maybe a little bit of coffee creamer to give it a little pizzazz, but. All right, you're gonna set your oven on 350, and it bakes for 10 to 15 minutes, so let's go. So another day, and what do you guess? My kitchen is dirty yet again. <laughs> go figure. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this kitchen off today and add in a few spring touches, so stay tuned. When we rewind, feels so nice. We time, you I know how to make me feel everywhere don't they I was getting ready to put all this silverware away and I noticed that the drums were crummy they're like full of crumbs so I just went ahead and got my holes out on my vacuum and vacuumed it out okay so it did take about 13 minutes in the oven but they smell and look amazing I'm, of course I'm gonna show you a close-up I'm gonna take a bite on camera but 
uh, to make the glaze, all you need is half a cup of powdered sugar, about two tablespoons of milk, or what I'm going to use is coffee creamer, and one to two teaspoons of vanilla. So I'm gonna mix it all up in a bowl, and then I'm gonna drizzle it over, and then I'll be You guys see this? Mmm. All right, I'm gonna take a bite real quick. I know they like just came out the oven, but I'm gonna take a bite anyway. And do you see, hold on, let me show you this. This is what happens when you make stuff from scratch. You get all this like crispy, brown sugary, buttery goodness. Okay, mmm, super good. But, mmm, mmm. You definitely need to make this. So I'm gonna make this actually with um, some scrambled eggs and like some fruit or something on the side. Maybe some turkey bacon or sausage, turkey sausage, but this goes great for breakfast, brunch, dessert, anything. You guys definitely need to make these. If you make them, make sure you tag me over on Instagram at Just Marie Homemade. All right, let's get back. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like a mirror, you affect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Friendly reminder, if you've got one of these little containers where you like keep your sponges and stuff, make sure you occasionally take it off of the sink since they have those little suction cups and wash it out. I was actually surprised about how dirty it was on the inside. So this is just a little reminder for you. This is two dollars at Walmart, the little wax cubes, and it smells really good. Like it'll just have your house smelling like really, really sweet. So if you like sweet scented things, then you'll like this.
This hello spring sign, I got this from Walmart and I believe it was $6. Just cleaning out the bottom of my pantry here because I need to put my air fryer away and just kind of rearrange some things. Fabuloso also works pretty good on the um, stainless steel. So if you can't find a good alternative for like the wipes, the stainless steel wipes or, you know, certain spray or whatever, I think Fabuloso would be a good option too. The struggle is eternally real. When I'm always trying to get these garbage bags out of the garbage can, there's a little bar inside and the bags always seem to get caught on it. Always have mask laying around too. Cause baby, all I got is high hopes. Do you feel the same? Do you want me back? Or is it just a game? Cause I got high hopes. So we're getting ready to mop this kitchen floor. I used my uh, lavender scented Fabuloso to mop and I feel like it works pretty good actually. And I, again, love the scent. That's one of like my favorite things about this cleaning product. But if you guys have a good like mop solution that you absolutely love, let me know because I definitely love trying different products. And um, if you guys stuck around this long, I just wanna thank you, give you a special shout out because you are the real MVP. <laughs> There ain't nobody like you Do you feel the same? Cause I got high hopes Do you want the same? Cause baby all I got is high hopes Do you feel the same? Do you want me back? Or is it just a game? Cause I got high hopes This kitchen rug was also another Ross find. It was $6.99. And then I also forgot about the little kitchen towels. The floral print were from Marshalls and they were, I want to say $6.99 as well. Somewhere in that range. And the last thing is this little plant here that I have um, by the little cake stand. That one was $5 and it was from Target. So that is 
all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, I would love it if you absolutely subscribed. I hope I gave you all the cleaning motivation that you needed to tackle today. And I will see you guys back here soon in a brand new video. Bye.